Thank you very much for joining me today. As you can see, I'm out on the mighty Scram. And yes, it finally arrived. I waited a couple of weeks for this item to arrive and it's finally arrived, which will make a big difference because now we can actually get the Budsy out on the mighty Scrambler. And the item that has arrived is the uh, Triumph tall screen. And I've got to say, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm really happy with the outcome and, and the way it looks aesthetically on the bike. Uh, we'll take it for a ride in a bit and we'll talk through how it, uh, how it performs. It's quite a windy day today. Got to say, aesthetically, it looks absolutely bloody beautiful. Expensive, but beautiful. <laughs> So originally I had to take off the dock, the, the, the little stubby fly screen that was on the bike, drop the headlight assembly, just take out the two bolts on the left and the right. Uh, before you do this, I would top tip, just put a little mark on the bracket and the light so when you put it back together, you'll know exactly where the light has to go back to rather than trying to adjust your beam and everything else. It's, it's just easier to put that mark on there, whether it be with a bit of tape or just with a marker pen. Drop the headlight assembly out. There's then two bolts either side of the bracket. You just undo those, take the fly screen off. The reassembly of the new screen is pretty much the same as taking off the old screen. There's, uh, there's four small bolts that come with the kit that have already got Loctite on them. They're the two either side. Uh, there are two retaining clips either side of the bracket. Pretty much these hold your cables and your wires just to keep them neat and tidy and flush and out of the way. The four remaining bolts, there is two bolts with two sleeves and two rubber washers. They're the top two bolts and they pretty much go into south, into south tapped um, holes that are already in the bracket. Tighten the two bottom ones up, they go, the two bottom bolts go through two rubber washers with a like a heli coil thread inside that pulls it close to the to the bracket. And that is pretty much it. That that is it is fitted. With all accessories that come through Triumph, there's a premium to pay. They're expensive. But nine times out of ten, you do get good quality. With the screen for this bike, it was tested in development. So all the R&D was done on this bike for this screen and it works really well. I'm really pleased with it. Like I say, it was expensive and unfortunately that's the, the root of all evil when it comes to Triumph and Triumph parts and accessories. But with what else was on the market, um, really this was the best option. So here we have it, the Marty Scrambler. Absolutely love this bike. I really have fell in love with it. I really am having a love affair with this machine. It just tickles my fancy every time I get it out. Let's take it for a ride. We'll uh, go and hit some of the lanes. It's a lovely day. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is like middle of December. I can't believe it. It's absolutely lovely and warm. I've got my jeans on. Um, I even unplugged my heater jacket. It was that warm. So we'll hit the roads and uh, we'll have a little chat about how the screen performs. So as you can see, aesthetically, for me, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It's quite slender. It's just, I think, at the right height. It's quite windy today, it's uh, very breezy, eh? And uh, I've got to say, it does give quite a good, nice uh, bubble of just clean air. Just, you know, I am getting a little bit of, a uh, little bit of head buffeting, but do you know what, I can live with that. I didn't, uh, I didn't buy a naked bike because I wanted uh, to be totally covered with a big screen. So this screen is purely for Buddy and just for his protection more than anything. So I can feel I've got good uh, good protection on my chest, but like I say, anything above there, you can just feel the, 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 the airflow there. Anything below there, nothing. And for me, this height was the important part because obviously Buddy sits here. So for anybody that's clicked on this video and you go, who the hell is Buddy? So Buddy is this amazing little dog. Uh, <laughs> that's what a chihuahua you've ever seen in your life. This is Buddy. And he is my emotional support dog. And we pretty much do everything together, whether it be kayaking, camping, motorcycling. And 
nine times out of ten he comes out at me. If he doesn't, like this morning, I said to him, buddy, you're coming out for a ride? He looked at me in his bed and he was like, it's too early for me, dude. You have fun. So I've come out without him, you know. I never force him to come with me. It's always his choice. But Buddy is an amazing animal that I've got an amazing bond with. And, yeah, that's what Woo Buddy is. So thank you very much for clicking on this video. And if you haven't seen um, his intro video, we sort of explains the whole story about how we found each other. He saved me, I saved him. Then go and watch this video. So... This was the reason for the screen, because obviously I want him to have the protection uh, from any debris, wind, and just make life a lot more comfortable for the little man. And uh, I've got to say, absolutely love it. There are other options out there, because believe me, being triumphed, this was not cheap. They are 300 quid, or thereabouts, for this little bit of plastic and that little bit of metal frame. Yes, the quality is amazing, yes, it has been fully tested um, through development with Triumph, but it's still expensive. So the other option I looked at was the unit garage. And yes, they do a lovely screen, but it was just a little bit big, a little bit cumbersome, a little bit bulky. And for me, it's sort of, personally, it's sport the look of the bike. Well, it's definitely windy today, but what a lovely day. I've got to say, winter's going to be like this all the way through winter. Wow. I'll take it. It's bloody lovely. I'm in my jeans. Look, in my jeans in December. Ah. So, there it is. The Triumph tall screen fitted to the mighty Scrambler. And i got to say, absolutely love it. For me, I don't think there's much more that I want to do to the Scrambler. It's just beautiful as it is. I've got the Lomo bags to go on the racks. I wasn't sure at first if I wanted to keep the racks, but as time's gone on, they've actually quite grown on me. And uh, at some point this winter, I'd like to get a hot camp hot tenting in, see if I can get it all on this bike. I did get it on the Tiger, and uh, I think it should all go on this bike, no problem. And uh, that's it. So, thank you very, very much for clicking on this video. Thank you very much for all the new subscribers, the old subscribers, for just helping us grow and uh, we'll keep going we'll keep trying to entertain you and so on that note i'm out of here stay safe live your best life Now that you got me started, I just can't stop.